Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be removing my Alocasia Silver Dragon Scale from this uh, smaller orchid pot as the roots are starting to encircle the bottom here. So it's definitely outgrowing this pot and it's actually getting a new growth point out of one of the holes in the side. As you can see, it also has a bunch of algae building up on the perlite. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to uh, clean it or cleanse it with some hydrogen peroxide. Never done this before, so this will be a little bit of a trial and error for me as well. And uh, we'll pot it up into something a little bit bigger like this. And it'll be sitting in one of these uh, decorative pots. I am definitely not an algae expert, but I know it uh, requires a couple certain conditions, one being consistently wet um, soil or potting medium. So this perlite I keep relatively wet most of the time just so that the roots don't dry out. And they also need sunlight to photosynthesize, so that's why I'm placing it in this container. So it will uh, essentially take away the sunlight aspect from uh, this uh, algae growth and hopefully that minimizes that in the future. So just gonna add maybe like a quarter of hydrogen peroxide. I'm just gonna add some, this is filtered tap water. And I'm just gonna place it in there. I want the level of the water to be at the top. So I'm gonna add some more. Just gonna top it up with my little watering can. Whoa, jeez. Okay, that should do it. Don't tip over. So I let it soak for a few minutes and it did take some of the algae away, but I don't know if I'll necessarily uh, be reusing this or not. So I'm just going to push that little growth point through the hole. I'm just gonna take it out of the pot here. Might try and remove some of this uh, perlite, but it looks like it's just along the edges here anyway, so. Just gonna loosen up these roots. There, I'm gonna keep the rest of the perlite intact here. Just gonna lightly scrape off some of the algae perlite, so I think that'll be okay. I'll uh, try and clean this and reuse it. So I'll set this aside for now and I'll get my new container and I'm gonna fill it up with some perlite. This is the brand that I like to use. It's a uh, Dutch treat. It's uh, a fairly large chunky perlite mix. I'm just gonna add a little bit into the bottom of the pot here first. And uh, just be careful or cautious when uh, dealing with perlite. Just make sure you wear a mask or something like that just because there is some fairly fine dust particles that you probably shouldn't breathe, breathe in. So I'm gonna set the plant at probably this height and I'm gonna add some perlite around it. If you haven't seen the video of me saving this alocasia from root rot, I'll leave it up in the top corner here and you can go check that out. But this plant actually got root rot when I bought it and I transferred it over to perlite and it's just been thriving in perlite. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Make sure it's center. Just gonna lightly poke down. Where's my pencil? Just gonna use my pencil just to poke down the perlite filling any air gaps. It's got a little bit more. I've got some roots popping out here. So I'm just gonna fill it up just a little bit more. Give it some water. And this project's completed. Took this plant upstairs and just ran it under the filtered tap water for a couple minutes just so it gets rid of that uh, perlite dust as well as it uh, thoroughly saturates the perlite. I'm gonna dump out the excess water here in a minute but uh, that's pretty much it for this project. I think I'm going to do one more little project with the uh, terrarium, uh, orchid terrarium, jewel orchid terrarium, geez. Can't speak this morning. 
I bought this little Pilea Moon Valley just for the corner of my terrarium. It's a little rough looking. Uh, some of the leaves are damaged, so I'm going to take it out of the pot and uh, prune off some of the damaged leaves. So this thing is soaking right now just because I did give it a little bit of a rinse. So I'm going to cut uh, this damaged leaf and this larger one here as well. The other ones look okay. I've never had this plant before, so I'm curious to see how it grows and uh, hopefully it fills in this area in my little terrarium here. Sitting spot in the corner there. I hope I made a good decision. Hopefully it grows uh, nice and tropical looking. But here's the rest of my jewel orchids and they look absolutely beautiful. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down in the comment section. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for more houseplant content. Otherwise, appreciate the support. Thanks for watching my videos, everyone. Take care, bye.